my Sam's grave is clay. You're not trying to dig him up, are you? No, no. <laughs> Just turning him over. <laughs> I thought I'd give him a treat this year. Plant a few flowers on him. Well, what have you got? Oh, assorted. Assorted? It sounds like biscuits, assorted one. <laughs> well, I don't know. The packets look colourful. Let's have a look, then. Oh, I've irrigated stock. Oh, I've planted them all round the edges. Uh, very nice, too. Marigold. That's round his pot. <laughs> Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts? Well, that's what it says on the bucket. Oh, crumbs. He could never stand Brussels sprouts. <laughs> they give him the windy pot. <laughs> Whatever shall I do? You'll have to wash them with bicarbonate of soda. <laughs> no, no. Water. They're all mixed up with the marigolds. Hey, don't worry, Ed. We can pluck them off, you see, when the shoots start coming up. Well, why can't we just let them grow? Then we can eat them when they're ready. Ada, Ada. This is a cemetery, not an allotment. <laughs> I suppose you're all right. Well, what the heck have you got there? Oh, what do you think it looks like? It's a gnome. I thought I'd plant it in that corner. But you can't put a gnome on a grave. I mean, you can put uh, guardian angels, and, but not a gnome. Well, couldn't I just say it was one of the Twelve Apostles? Well, <laughs> it looks more like one of the Seven Dwarfs, than not it? No, no, he, he's out of place, eh, you know. I mean, gnomes have a garden. Oh, blow. This is about the only garden my Sam's ever had. He always said to me, Mummy said, if I ever get a proper garden, I want a gnome. Well, he's got one. Well, I don't think the rector will be right chuffed about this, you know. He's a stickler for tradition. Well, couldn't I just paint an armband on him? <laughs> It'd make no difference if you smothered him in sackcloth and ashes. No, I suppose you're right. Well, I'm going to have a sit down, get me puff back. No, oh, well, come on, let me give you a hand. Oh, back. boy, I've sent me leg to sleep with all this <laughs> kneeling. That ground's as hard as the devil's heart. Now, if you'd have mentioned it, I'd have got you a kneeler from the Chapel of Rest. Oh, I never thought of that. Well, that's what friends are for, you know. Oh, my dear, my knees aren't so good. We're getting old, my dear boy. <laughs> Water. Well, what? I hope you mo won't mind my asking this. Well, what is it? But where exactly is your Miriam buried? You've never told me. Oh, up in Yorkshire. Wally Cemetery. Oh, have you got someone up there to make her tidy? Well, it's like my brother Fred, you know, and uh, his wife Maggie. Well, you remember Maggie. Oh, well, you made a right scene last that time too, Madame. <laughs> but I don't mention that anymore. Now, I mean... Well, <laughs> they cut the grass, you know, and they keep the marble clean. Oh, half a cup lemon. That's the finest thing out for that. Oh, it does it to treat. You know. Only I was a bit surprised you're moving down south with her still being up there. Well, I could hardly bring her down with me, could I? <laughs> no, no, Walter, you know what I mean. Well, as a matter of fact, I feel... Well, I feel more at home and happier down south, you see, because, well, up there is too many memories. I bet you miss her. <coughs> oh, oh, I do. Hey, you know. Oh, there's a tale. A tale they tell up in Yorkshire. I'll tell it to you. It's, it's about two chaps, and, and they're discussing the wives, you see. And one's praising his. And he said uh, to his friend, he said, Do you know, my wife's an angel. And the other one said, By Jove, you're lucky. Mine's still living. <laughs> <laughs> It's good, that, isn't it? Eh? Uh, well, I want a smoker. I've got my jacket hanging on Tommy Thompson's weeping angel. Come here a minute, Ada. I'll keep your seat warm for you. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, hello, Mrs. Creswell. Hello. Mind if I sit down? That seat's taken. I didn't see no notice on it. Well, Mr. Bingley's sitting there. Well, there's plenty of room for three on this bench. He's a nice man, is Mr. Bingley. Handsome and strong with it. Must be working in the fresh air. He'll make someone a good catch. Yes, and I've landed him, so you can fish somewhere else. <laughs> oh? 
I didn't know you and him was engaged. We're not. We happen to have a slight understanding. <laughs> Understandings don't count. Till they walk down the aisle, they're anybody's. Well, Walter's mine, so keep your hooks off him. <laughs> I don't want anything happening to him. What do you mean? Well, you're very poor. <laughs> May God forgive you, Ada Creswell. Well, you have. Well, I may have done, but they all died happy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and well insured. And why not? They didn't want for a thing when they went. And I've had to pay for four lots of flowers every anniversary. To say nothing of four in memoriams in the Evening Gazette. Well, I don't want you adding water to your roll of honour. Um, taking you to the dance at the over 60s. I expect so. Oh, he hasn't asked you then. No, but he will. Oh, hello, Mrs. Skimmer. <laughs> Frida. Oh, hi, hi, of course. Hi, Frida. That's better, Walter. Oh, sit down, Walter, do. Yes, sit down, Walter. <laughs> well, I'll chop a bit. <laughs> We've known each other well enough now to be intimate. <laughs> <laughs> She's only speaking metaphorically. <laughs> she better add me. You do look well, Walter. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, keeping on right yourself, are you? Well, as well as can be expected, being on my own. Still, I live in hopes. You know what they say. <laughs> Hope springs eternal in the human breast. breast. <laughs> oh, God. How vulgar can you get? <laughs> oh, well. I'll be off. Did you like the pie? Oh, very tasty. I made the crust special. Good. Cheerio, Mrs. Creswell. Goodbye. Au revoir, Walter. Oh, well, ta now, Mrs. <laughs> Frida. Oh, silly bitch. <laughs> steady on, steady on. Well, she is. Dressed up like a ham bone and grinning like a horse collar. Now there's no arm in her. Oh, no, not much. She's only gone on you, man mad. She's only trying to be friendly. Jolly sight too friendly. What's all this about pies? Well, it's only for you to worry about, Ada. She made me a steak pie last week. With a special crust? Oh. Yeah, well, that special, I nearly broke my top plate on it. <laughs> you want to watch out with old Frida's pies? She's very poor. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be jealous by any chance, would you? No, I wouldn't, I only thought. Well, you can think again. I say, Walter. Yeah? Do you like dancing? No, not much. Oh. And he'd have got a dance on at the over 60s on Saturday. Old time. Oh, have they? Hmm. Oh, boy, it's donkey's years since I was at a dance. No, oh, I'll bet it is. I used to love dancing. I was ever so light on my feet. I was quite a dab at the Piccadilly saunter. Mm. Oh, I bet you were, no. This is only two bob, you know, including Buffett and spot prizes. Mm. Oh, it sounds reasonable enough. Should be quite a nice little do. Ada? Yes, Walter? If you want me to take you to this dance, why don't you ask proper instead of going all around the houses? Oh, are you going to take me then? No. <laughs> You're not? No, well, I, I don't like the over 60s little bit. Always full of old folk. Well, what do you expect? Skinheads? Well, I can't... <laughs> I can't dance anyway. Well, you could always hang on to me and shuffle your feet. Ada, I am not going. Oh, all right. If you thought enough of me, you'd take me. Yeah. And if you thought enough of me, you wouldn't expect me to take you. I see. So that's how it is. Okay. That's how it is with me. Well, now then. Coming round to the grapes for a drink? No. No? No. That's how it is with me. Get off my coat. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you believe it, eh? 
women. Come in, Mr. Jackson. Thank you. Uh, you know Leslie, don't you? I do indeed. Our fine foods fat totem. <laughs> One of our regulars, aren't you, Mr. Jackson? Oh, by the way, we've got a special offer tomorrow, six plus off chicken pies. Uh, no, thank you, Mr. Bonnet. Nothing personal, you understand. But I do feel the ratio of chicken to pie could be improved. Yeah, yeah well, I don't make them, I only sell them. Of course. <laughs> well, Mum will be in any minute. Would you like to wait in the front room? Oh, I've made a lovely cup of tea. You're very kind. Thank you. What's it raining What do you want, then? Come to see Mum. <laughs> you know she can't stand them. Oh, it's about time she made an effort, then, isn't it? Yeah. You never give up, do you? Why not? He's got a white shirt, stiff collar, clean fingernails and two pensions. What more can she want? <laughs> Walter Bingley. Oh, well, we all know about him, don't we? Well, I thought you said he was all right. Yes, well, he is all right, but he's not as, not as refined as Mr Jackson. <laughs> You make him sound like a sack of sugar. <laughs> you fool, you know what I meant. Yeah, yeah, but it shouldn't is a fear. You should let people run their own lives. Hello, Ma. Hello. Hello. Visitor for you. Al, who is he? Mr. Jackson. Oh, cramped, I can't stand him. <laughs> oh, won't shush. He's come all this way especially to see you. The least you can do is talk to him. He's a very eligible widower. He's a double-breasted twit. Oh. <laughs> Shut up, he'll hear you. Well, I don't care. Serve him up for coming. I'll tell him you'll be in in a minute. I thought you and Walter were having a bevy down at the uh, grapes at lunchtime, Ma. Yes, well, Walter's gone on his own. It's mm. those done. Yeah, well, they want buffing. Give us the rag, then. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> well, you and Walter had a barney, then? No, dear boy, no. He's a self-centred, selfish, pig-headed Yorkshireman. <laughs> I hope he breaks both his dentures on her crust. <laughs> you have it, Barney. Well, he won't take me to the dance on Saturday. He's been accepting pies from four in a row Frieda. <laughs> the green-eyed monster. I don't care what colour her eyes are. <laughs> no, my jealousy. He's doing it to make you jealous. Ah, go on. Yeah. Go on. Yeah. Do you really mean it? Well, there's nothing like a spot of the other woman to keep you interested, is there? Here. Yeah. That's a good idea. Well, you got up again? Yes. Me and the illegible twit <laughs> is taking a little stroll down to the bunch of grapes. He don't know it yet, but Mr. Jackson is about to become the other man. Look what I'm taking with me, bit of my old bloomers. <laughs> I think I can manage another of them, Arthur. You want to be careful, Mr. Bingley. We don't want you drunk in charge of the cemetery. <laughs> I'll be drowned before I'm drunk off that stuff. I will weaned on stronger ale than that. <laughs> you know, we used to drink Swains's. Home brewed bitter. Bye. Give me a talk about a beer. Like treacle. Two pints of that, you were paralytic. You know, they wouldn't serve you without a doctor's note. <laughs> Pull the other one. Ah, oh, you have to wake up every morning, you know. And if you'd had too much of that. Hello, hello. What's the matter, lad? Oh, just a twinge of rheumatism. Now, that's nasty. That means your bones are, uh, are drying up. Here you are. You want to try liquid paraffin? Liquid paraffin for rheumatism? Oh, finest cure there is. Keeps you oil. <laughs> Do you know, my father used to take two tablespoonfuls of liquid paraffin every day of his life. He never suffered with his bones. No, not his bowels. <laughs> I'm not surprised. 
you know, you can't beat the old-fashioned remedies. Oh, these cures, you know. Uh, my mother could, she could cure a cold overnight. As soon as she saw the sniffles coming on, she used to smother me in goose grease and then sit me in front of a roaring fire. <laughs> I'll bet they could smell me the other side of the pen on. <laughs> well, if it's all the same to you, Mr Bingley, I think I'll stick to regular doses of whiskey. It might not cure it, but it gives the germs a hell of a good time. <laughs> uh, how many times have you told that joke? Oh, never mind, it's a good one, I like it. <laughs> Hello, Walters. Hello, Ethan. We meet again. Mm. You two do know each other, don't you? I've seen him. Yes, you have. <laughs> and how are things out the cemetery? Well, I don't get many complaints. <laughs> Very droll. Now, Mrs. Cresswell, what can I fetch you? Well, I usually have a stout. Now, please feel free to have whatever you wish. I'm fully superannuated. Oh, well, in that case, I think I'll have a bloody Frida. <laughs> I beg your pardon? A bloody Frida. It's Mary. Oh, I knew it was somebody bloody. And, uh, for you, Mr. Bingley, I'm drinking, thank you. Oh, well, won't be a moment. <laughs> and what's all this about, then? What's all what about? Oh, pansy face, there at the bar. Are you alluding to Herbert? Herbert? Is that his name, Herbert? <laughs> yes. Hey, <laughs> uh, it damn well suits him, I know. You wouldn't be jealous by any chance. What? Jealous? Jealous of that? Here we are, Mrs. Crashwell. Oh. <laughs> Ada. Oh, uh, your good health, Ada. Well? Down the little red lane. <laughs> mild as a day, Mr. Bingley. Yes, well, I think it's chilly. So it's mild with it. No, just chilly. Are you going to the over 60s dance on Saturday, Herbie? I am indeed. They tell me I'm very good at the, the Piccadilly Saunter. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, of course, I, I can't claim to be a Ned Kelly. Jean Kelly. Well, I knew it wasn't Grace. Oh, no, no. Very crisp. <laughs> I bet you're jolly good at it. Oh. You've got dancers' legs, you know. Oh. Will you be going to the dance, Mrs. Uh, Ada? Oh, yes, I hope so. If somebody asks me. Ada? Yes, Walter? Do you want to go to this dance? Oh, yes, I do. Well, go then. With old time Fred Astaire there. <laughs> oh, just ignore him. I wish you'd stop banging about. I'm not banging. <laughs> What's that then? I'm giving him back every blessed thing he ever gave me scarf, bottle of perfume. Rotten old souvenir brooch and a box of chocks. Chocolates? Well, you opened them last week. <laughs> well, never mind, there's still a layer left. <laughs> you can have his blasted angel charms back, too. Look, I don't want you doing anything hasty. I'm not. I thought about this all the time I was peeling the potatoes. <laughs> You know, you're being very silly. I'm not being silly, Ruthie. You are. I've got my pride. Nay, Leslie, I've got my pride. Well, she was only doing it to make you jealous. <laughs> well, she made a damn good job of it, then. <laughs> Look, yeah. Um, why don't you go around and apologise, eh? Apologise? Yeah. A Yorkshireman apologised to a woman. <laughs> We're men up there. We keep women in the place. No time for this emancipation stuff. <coughs> Do you know, there are places up in Yorkshire where women don't even know they've got the vote yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you this, Leslie. A successful relationship between a man and a woman has got to be based on mutual understanding. Oh, yeah. He's the boss and she's got to understand it. <laughs> well, I've done my best. I'll be seeing you, Mr. Bingley. All right, all right. Thanks, so. Apologize. I thought I'd see you here. Oh? Got over your foolishness then? Wasn't me being foolish. Oh. So you've not come to apologise then? Oh, no, I haven't. I've come to bring you all your presents back. They're all in there if you want to check. 
You can keep the bag. That's very generous of you. <laughs> so we're uh, packing it in. Mm. <laughs> in that case, uh, you'd better have this watch back. There you are. Thank you. You might want to give it to somebody else. Yes, I might do. Aye, then I'll send your Sam suit back as soon as it's been cleaned. So this is it then, the finish, eh? It's right. Aye, well, better now than later. Well, I'd better go. Yes, right, oh. Better make a clean break of it. Oh, yes, much better. Yeah, well, I'll go then. All right, oh. Goodbye, Walter. Goodbye, Anna. Goodbye. It's true what they say, isn't it? The older you get, the dafter you get. It's true about you, you twerp. <laughs> Come, Ada, link the army mine and lilt away with me and dry that drop of brine from corner of thy E. Is it, we say E in for eyes of Yorkshire? What do you say, London? Mince pies. I do think it's London. <laughs> As ready as we shall ever be. <laughs> May I have the pleasure of this done? I'll oh, don't be so dumb. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, my God. I've gone dizzy. I'll be back. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my God.